Most expecting couples hope for a delivery without complications. Some babies have fragile beginnings, and yet others are stillbirths. Can you smile? Whitney Hawkins just loves being a mom. Four-month-old Felicity is her second child. Felicity's older brother, Maximus, was a stillbirth. When I lost my baby boy, I never thought I would smile again or be happy again. I thought, I thought my world was over, basically. She says for her, it was a near-perfect pregnancy. I didn't understand how I could go from one day hearing, hearing the baby's heartbeat to a couple days later, their, him being gone. Almost invariably, parents will consider having another child. And so knowing why this happened, can, if it's something that's not likely to recur, can it provide tremendous emotional reassurance. Dr. Robert Silver from the University of Utah School of Medicine and co-authors studied stillbirths at 59 hospitals in five cities around the country. Extensive evaluations were performed on a racially diverse group of mothers. Pathologists completed autopsies, evaluated the placenta, and conducted genetic tests. A cause of death can be ascertained in over three quarters of cases of stillbirth with the complete evaluation. The study appears this week in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Obstetric complications, things like preterm labor and like abruption accounted for a major proportion of the cases of stillbirth. In addition, placental abnormalities also accounted for a major proportion of, of cases. Researchers also found stillbirths differed by race and ethnicity. If you're black, there's a two to two and a half fold increase in the rate of having a stillbirth compared to if you're white or Hispanic in the United States. Researchers say sometimes what may appear to cause stillbirth after a full evaluation may not be the cause at all. Whitney thought her diabetes may have played a role, but that wasn't the problem. It was a strep B infection, something out of her control. Often we can do interventions that may improve outcome in subsequent pregnancies. Whitney was treated sporadically with antibiotics and delivered Felicity with no complications. My heart has definitely healed. There's still a spot missing for my baby boy, but she's definitely made it so much better. <laughs> Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.